I am to report. Um, I woke up on Christmas morning about 6.30 a.m. It was still dark. I, I checked up my phone the time that it was and the sirens were just screaming. And they haven't stopped. They're just screaming like it's a national emergency and stuff like that, you know? And that's how it is living here. And um, it's part of what's caused my memory loss for my gray matter of my brain. And I know, because I've prayed about it so much. I believe, it's like I know, but I have to see it, but I know. And it's not like my baby cat where I insisted that he wasn't sick. Everybody does those things. It's denial. And it's hope. It's hope. It's denial. It's all these things. But this is not, I don't think, medically. Excuse me, I sound terrible. I'm in a terror cell. It's not medically the case with the gray matter from the sirens that I've had to suffer through since I was trapped in the city in a terror cell by their police, the police and fire making sure of it. So it's no different today. They're supposed to storm in. If this doesn't work, the uh, kicking down my door on the premise of mental health crisis or whatever it is by people who aren't even from the United States. One, I just heard get, one, one I heard just uh, be killed massively loud. Boom, down they went, man. If that doesn't work, then they're going to raid the whole street. It's a fake raid by the federal law enforcement. It's about 30 of them, no helicopters. Probably bringing their big old trucks and stuff they talk about with the practicing cannibal when they're doing their cop talk. Cop shop talk. With a woman who I have seen carrying around chopped up human organs and tissues. And who fries up fucking the most disgusting human body parts. So I know it's over in the U.S. and they're just chasing around women who are in their slippers, as you see here, in their bedrooms. That's what it's come down to, who are unarmed and doing nothing but getting out of bed. Say she's crazy, kick down the door. If that doesn't work, raid the whole house and say everybody is an Al-Qaeda terrorist. So then I guess I'll be an Al-Qaeda terrorist who speaks no Arabic lone wolf holding these terrorists in here who are going to claim they're just innocent civilians as hostages the tables have turned because the fbi says so with the msnbc who's supposed to film it all <clears throat> they're not coming i'm not that worried okay but it's top secret the raid not anymore so they've gathered about 30 law enforcement federal agents to raid a street what it is is to get any sort of evidence out <clears throat> to protect themselves from arrest and to protect Donald Trump. Donald Trump set everybody up here with Putin and <clears throat> Saudi Arabia government. <clears throat> right? So when I went out there to use the bathroom because I was chemically poisoned and I couldn't ignore it, they started to fill up my room so much I had to do something. So I went to the bathroom. And when I did, I stood there in the bathroom for about a minute with the door open to listen to what was going on. And after about a minute in the bathroom, a terrorist, um, in that time range, it could be a little under, okay? A terrorist who I had no idea was even in the house, set down like lightning fast, a whole bunch of metal objects, how I keep reporting clinking metal. This one didn't uh, drop it. It sets it down and it makes noise. So you hear the clinking metal objects being set down. And then this terrace raced like lightning barefoot over my head into the bathroom above me. Bracing for me to flush my toilet, I guess. That's what they do here. So it's still going, this place. And I'm not allowed to talk about anything else. Anything else except that I witnessed a kill. And this is not the only sort of uh, combat I hear in here, so please 
let me always say this like a broken record because what I'm witnessing in here, I will never forget. And the fact that law enforcement are still here is astounding. Um, and I, I have to say that, yeah, more than likely I have biological relatives somehow in this mix today because they keep sending these terrorists money <clears throat> and they are, they are on legal record for doing what they've done, which I put in print. It's too much for me to talk about right now. I'm just so fucking tired of it. But I'm not too concerned because of what I have witnessed. A great amount of that witnessing I cannot talk about publicly. I'm really not too concerned about some sort of fantastical raid carried out by FBI this morning on a Al Qaeda terror cell of their own. It is their police militia. I'm just not too concerned. But I am telling the top uh, generals in the good military and Merry Christmas, top generals. I'm feeling good after the chemical attack. Remember, I put this on the internet. I said they're going to do this. So I'm not too surprised. I'm feeling really good. I just want to thank every one of you. I want to thank every one of the special ops and everybody in the good military. I just want to thank every one of you. And I want to thank the Israeli military for everything you're doing in the Middle East. All right, I don't want to say too much about it because there's crazy ISIS terrorists here around me right now. And it's probably just not smart. All right, God bless. Take care, bye.